There are many things about this world that I will never understand. And a lot of what falls onto that list is the crazy creatures that we share this planet with. I mean, have you seen some of the insane things that walk and swim around on our planet? Well, wait no further. I am here to share with you the top 10 scientifically impossible creatures that shouldn't exist, but do. Starting us off at number 10, the immortal jellyfish. Yes, you heard that correctly. And no, it's not quite what you would expect. It turns out that if you want to live forever, all you need to do is be reincarnated as this specific species of jellyfish. But before you get too excited, while they never technically die, they don't continue aging either. Essentially, after the jellyfish has reproduced, they revert back to a polyp stage and repeat that cycle over and over and over and over again for eternity. To put it simply, they pretty much turn back into babies again. Like, actually, how is that possible? As far as scientists can tell, the only way for them to die is to literally be eaten or catch a deadly disease. But as long as they steer clear of those threats, they will quite literally live forever. Coming in at number nine, the blue glaucus. Often described as a tiny little water dragon, the blue glaucus is actually a nudibranch. The bright blue side that is often shown in photos is actually their belly side. They tend to float on their backs as the blue side camouflages them within the water and protects them from sky predators like birds and such. But what is truly nuts about these tiny one inch creatures is their ability to sting and sting hard. They essentially swallow and store the stinging cells from siphonophores, another creature we will get to later on, and then these stinging cells remain in the blue glaucus concentrating over time. When the time comes and they feel threatened, it will release these stinging cells, delivering an incredibly potent sting that can cause its victim to experience a slew of painful and uncomfortable symptoms. So it's not that they are poisonous or venomous themselves necessarily. Technically, they can just store poison and then shoot it out when the time is right, which I say is probably even more terrifying. Next up at number eight, the mysterious whale fish. Back in 1895, two scientists discovered a fish in the deep sea that they named whalefish for its resemblance to the other animal. Then fast forward a few decades and in 1956, a scientist discovered another new kind of fish in the deep sea, the tape tail. Finally, in 1966, scientists added one more new fish to the list named the big nose. But something wasn't adding up. No matter how hard they looked, they could only ever find juvenile tape tails, female whale fish, and male big noses. Where were all the others? Well, finally in 2003, they discovered something incredible, that they were actually all in the same family. But because they literally all looked so incredibly different, it never occurred to them upon each initial discovery. Sometimes nicknamed the shape-shifting fish, these strange creatures change so much from larva to adulthood that they are entirely unrecognizable and frankly, should not be possible. Coming in at number seven, the mantis shrimp. These these tiny little creatures look like something from a science fiction novel, and they certainly act like one too. Mantis shrimp, though not shrimp or mantis, are divided into two categories, smashers and spearers. Smashers have a crazy strong club appendage that can literally bludgeon their prey to death or break aquarium glass if they're in the mood, whereas spears have a barbed tip, spiny appendage they will use to stab their prey. But their big claim to fame is that they are actually thought to have the most complex eyes in all of the animal kingdom. To give you a bit of context, humans have three types of photoreceptor cells in our eyes, and the mantis shrimp can possess anywhere from 12 to 16, meaning that they can essentially see colors that are literally not able to be perceived by other species. I mean, how insane is that? Next up at number six, the thorny devil. Native to the land of Australia, it should come as no shocker that these creatures are out of this world. I mean, that is kind of the Australian calling card after all. For starters, they are literally covered from head to toe in giant spikes. I mean, they practically look like a mace, but at the nape of their neck is also this huge bulge that acts as their false head. So if they get attacked, they will bow their head down to reveal their false head and keep their real one safe. 
That's not the insane part though. So if they continue to feel threatened and the predator continues to attack, a thorny devil's defense is to actually shoot blood from their eyes. I kid you not. I mean, talk about a party trick. But seriously, that should not be possible, right? I'll just be thankful that that is not something humans can pull off yet. Coming in at number five, gooey ducks. These definitely have a certain look to them that I am sure we can all agree on. And I won't lie, that was definitely a factor in me adding them to the list. But aside from looking rather Stallion like, if you will. These clams also live to be crazy old. I'm talking 140 to 180 years old. You'd think if something had to live that long, they would at least get to see cool stuff, but that was not the plan for these kooky things. Instead, they remain in one, literally one spot their entire lives. Gooey ducks will ground themselves with a small foot and remain several feet below ground, eating plankton and pretty much minding their own business until they either die or are farmed. Next up at number four, the platypus. Of course, I had to add this weirdo creature to the list. We know it, we love it, and we will be eternally confused by it. Scientists still have a really hard time figuring out how to categorize the platypus, although officially they have decided on mammal, which, I mean, we'll do, I guess. But truthfully, there is nothing else like it. It lays eggs like a chicken, but it still produces milk for its young. It has a bill, like a duck, that is loaded with sensors that can detect a worm's electrical field, but then it hits you with webbed feet and a beaver tail. Like, what are we supposed to do with that? Oh, and lest we forget, the venomous spurs on the rear ankles of the males. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of what a four-year-old may have drawn their imaginary friend to look like, not an actual living, breathing, animal on planet Earth. But hey, the Earth is full of things that don't make sense, so what's another thing on the list? Coming in at number three, the axolotl. Put aside the fact that these amphibians are strangely adorable, they also defy any and all logical understanding of biology. For starters, they are the only amphibians that don't undergo metamorphosis, which is why they retain their baby-like features as well as their external gills in their adulthood. But most incredibly and mind-boggling is that they can actually regenerate nearly every limb or organ in their body in a matter of months. I'm talking arms legs, tail, heart, eyes, even certain tissues in their nervous system. So quite literally say its leg gets ripped from the body, rather than scarring, the axolotl will just grow a new one. And in some cases, it's even been known to repair a damaged limb and grow an additional one. They are quite a popular pet among exotic animal lovers. Coming in at number two, siphonophores. These creatures blew my mind when I was making up this list for you guys. Think of them less like one entity and more like a community of organisms that all live together. Essentially, a bunch of different multicellular units, each with specialized functions, but each with their own nervous system, join together to create a colony that can reproduce, digest, float, and move. They live in the deep sea, and so far there are 175 known species. And if the whole suburban cul-de-sac organism entity thing isn't cool enough for you, they are also bioluminescent, so they literally glow. Not only that, but they are one of only two known life forms in the entire world that are known to produce a red light, as most produce blue or green. And coming in at number one, the floppy snake. Similarly to the gooey duck, the floppy snake has a very distinct appearance, having been dubbed by some on the internet as a manaconda. Although it's called a snake, it's not really a snake, but an amphibian with rings like an earthworm. But what is truly impossible to understand about this creature is that it has no lungs. The floppy snake will breathe through its skin. Capillaries fill their skin, which permits an exchange of gas and Voila! To top it off, it has terrible eyesight and sealed nostrils, yet it is still able to smell. Experts have literally said that there is no clear understanding on how the floppy snake survives, but yet here we are. It is here and it is alive, so who am I to question it? Well, there you have it, guys. My name's Kennedy. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.